In Class C, where power was the ultimate currency, I would need to tread carefully, balancing my desire for anonymity with the need to assert my influence. As I step into the unfamiliar territory of Class C, my initial focus is on gathering intelligence. The first practical step is to map the class hierarchy. Who are the influencers, the underdogs, the silent contributors? This isn't just about academic standing, but social dynamics as well. I'd start by engaging in casual conversations, participating in group activities, all while observing interactions and reactions. It's a subtle way to assess personalities and power structures without revealing my intent. Class C, teetering precariously on the precipice of order and chaos, held a unique dynamic. Ruled by the iron fist of Ryuan, a student who thrives on power and intimidation, Class C was a breeding ground for conflict and tension. Had I been placed in this volatile environment, my approach would have been one of measured steps and cautious alliances. Once I had a grasp of the class's dynamics, I would discreetly seek out individuals who possessed influence or held positions of power. These individuals, whether it be a trusted advisor to Ryuan or a leader of a rival faction, would be my entry points into the complex social hierarchy of Class C. I would need to maintain a low profile, avoiding the spotlight that could attract Ryuan's attention. Yet, I would also need to demonstrate my value to my allies, ensuring their continued support and protection. Simultaneously, I begin building a network of contacts. In these early stages, it's not about forming close friendships but establishing a presence. I'd volunteer for group projects, offer help in areas of my expertise, and engage in clubs or activities strategically chosen to maximize my interactions across various social circles. The goal is to become a known and reliable entity, someone others turn to for advice or assistance, thus allowing me to influence decisions and opinions quietly. Academically, I position myself as a competent, yet not overly ambitious student. I'd contribute in class, ensuring my grades are consistently above average, but carefully avoid outshining the top students. This approach garners respect without breeding envy or unnecessary competition. It also provides an opportunity to identify academic alliances, such as study groups, where I can further embed myself into the fabric of Class C. Understanding the culture of Class C is crucial. Each class has its own unique ethos and unwritten rules. I'd spend the first few weeks identifying these nuances, which behaviors are admired, which are frowned upon. This knowledge allows me to adapt my demeanor and interactions to fit seamlessly into the class culture making my presence natural rather than intrusive. In terms of influence, my tactics in Class C are more indirect. Instead of overt actions, I use suggestion and persuasion. For instance, in group discussions, I'd subtly steer the conversation towards the outcome I desire, making it seem like a natural consensus. When offering help or advice, I'd frame it in a way that gently guides the other person towards the decision I want them to make, all while letting them believe it was their own idea. Lastly, I prepare for contingencies. In a dynamic environment like Class C, flexibility is key. For every plan I devise, I have alternative strategies ready. This involves constantly updating my assessments of the class dynamics and being ready to shift my approach as situations evolve. Whether it's a sudden change in the class hierarchy or an unexpected academic challenge, I'm always prepared to adapt quickly and efficiently. Entering Class C requires a series of calculated, practical steps. From intelligence gathering to network building, academic positioning to cultural adaptation, each action is carefully planned and executed. It's a game of chess, played not with pieces, but with human dynamics and social strategies. In this game, my success hinges not just on the moves I make, but on the thoughtfulness and precision with which I make them.